What is up everyone? Today on Seth Leroy Fishing, I am again going to the big lake. Lake, not up north. We're talking central Minnesota. Not the big lake up north. I've, I've, I've done research. That's a good lake. I have not been there, but I am going to big lake. Now, once again, this is Seth Leroy Fishing. The channel is also called Family Hot Dish. So if you want to check out our other content, go right ahead. Uh, like, share, subscribe, stay tuned. It's gonna be a good day of fishing. It is fall, it is getting cold, really cold. There's some wind. It finally, we had a cold snap last night and it's time to get out there. And these are the times I love because you do not see any other boats out here, do you? There's still guys who come out because they know, they know about fall fishing. But we are in the land of 10,000 lakes, so what are you doing? Go fishing. Person taken, I think she was taking pictures, she gone. There we go. What'd I say? Feels decent. I can't tell if he's decent, but he felt decent. Try to give him a nice soft. Oh yeah, he's decent. There we go. That's a good start. That's a good start, y'all. There we go. He's decent. Decent. 15 incher. It's a good way to start. It's a good way to start. You know what? We'll give him a nice release too. Just because, you know. First fish of the day, second cast. Get in that cold water, buddy. Alright, let's keep fishing. Now, once again, real quick, I'm gonna cast in my walk line. So I wasn't gonna spook any of my fishies and got one. See what I'm talking about? There we go. It's a good fighter too. See what I'm saying? I'm keeping him up because he he's most likely, oh, never mind. Okay, never mind. I'll get him, keep him low now, but there's a lot of weeds there. I thought he was, for sure, northern. He feels decent. Wait. Did I just catch a smallmouth? I just caught a smallmouth. Okay, th there's a reason I'm tripping out. I have fished on this lake since I was a child. Since I was a child. Like I'm talking a lot of fishing. Big lake, smallmouth bass, I swear. And I've caught so many fish here. And I know that sounds like not a big deal to some people, but it is a big deal to me. You have no idea, I've fished here all my life. What? Oh my goodness. Well, that's a selfie time. My first ever smallmouth in this lake I have fished my entire life. I am blown away right now. Well, I'm gonna get a good release on him since he is my first ever smallmouth and he is beautiful. What a clear color. I mean, oh my goodness. I swear to you people, I never knew there were smallies here. I thought I looked it up and it said that and I was like, no, there are not. I have fished here all my life, like I said, since I was a kid, all the time, like not even kidding. Wow, how cool, how cool. And he's decent, he's like 16, not a fatty, but I'm in shock. You never know what's gonna happen. Like I said, since I'm talking, we're talking 95 I've fished here, bro. Always bass, northerns, other fish too, but 
whatever. Let's keep fishing. When fishing, anglers can expect to catch a variety of fish including black bullhead, bluegill, green sunfish, largemouth bass, northern pike, walleye, yellow bullhead, yellow perch, pumpkin seed. Okay, so now that was this lake, right? Now let's do the attached lake. When fishing, anglers can expect to catch a variety of fish including black bullhead, bluegill, brown bullhead, green sunfish, largemouth bass, northern pike, walleye, yellow bullhead, yellow perch, pumpkin seed. So there's not smallmouth bass in this lake or that lake, so something happened and it was crazy and you guys got to witness it and it blew my mind. So. Like I said, I'm gonna look into more if there is stocking. I don't think so. I don't think anyone's stocking it, but that was crazy, man. You see him? Oh man, it was a bass. Oh. Oh man, he's tearing that bass up. There we go. There we go. I'm just gonna keep him up because I don't he's nothing big, but well that's what I usually catch. A little large moth. That's the norm out of this lake. Little baby large mouth. But see, that's what's important. Healthy lake. Healthy lake. Oh my god, she hit off my boot. No, get out. Buddy, get back in there. Oh my gosh, buddy, is this real? Get up, get, get, no. Go the other way. Buddy. Here, go there. Get out of here. Get out of here. Keep going. There we go. That was a cool hit. That was a cool hit. Oh, and he got off. No. No. The only reason I say no is that was a decent splash. Just realized I left my backpack over there, but luckily all it's got is my lures and I do not bring, I do not keep my musky lures in my bag because those are expensive. He get off? Yeah, he got off. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just got annoyed because I don't know if he's that same guy. But as you guys have seen in my other videos, if you watched them, I'll catch some big ones. But see, right when it drops, you want to start reeling at least with spinners. There we go. Stay on, buddy. No. Yep, got him out. Oh, I'm keeping him high up. Northern, I guarantee it. The way he's fighting. Don't get off, buddy, because they get off here. Oh my goodness. I guarantee he's a northern. Got me in the weeds bad. Yep, I see him. Yeah, he's a northern. See, and he's not, well, he's decent actually. They will, oh yeah, he's decent. I got a big head on him. They will get you in the weeds, and it's a wrap. You see, he felt huge. That's what happens. Let me just get this guy off. Okay, yes. It's actually a very calm northern. Good to see. You. See? Pretty guy. Pretty northern. Oh, he's like, you don't need to hold my tail and do the whole thing, buddy. All right, buddy. Good catch. Thank you. I appreciate it. 
cast, hit, start reeling. Keep that, keep that above these weeds. There we go. There we go. And I'm gonna keep this fish up. I don't even care, bro. That's how it is at this point, at this area. Guarantee it's a northern. I don't know. Like, dude, it's to the point where, yeah, there we go. Break the surface. Let's see what you are. Let's see what you are. Yep. It's a northern. Not a huge guy again, but that's what I'm saying. He was instantly just bringing me into the weeds. He felt like a monster, like I said before, and that's what they'll do here. So, oh, you really jacked up your jaw. He'll be fine though, it's not to the point of like really affecting him. Another little northern. Hopefully he grows up to be a monster. He's like, get out of here, dude. There he goes. See ya, buddy. Go get bigger. It's a decent sized opening, but you'll see. You can't see it right now because of how dark it is out. Or not dark, but coverage. But right here, <laughs> what was I just saying? Right here. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Don't you dare. I'm wanting him to sort of do his thing but tire himself out. There's a reason I do it this way. Come on, buddy. little bass and see look he felt huge I wasn't sure but still a fun catch I like the challenge all these weeds on him I like the challenge trust me it's risk versus reward like I've said a million times and it's so true but you know he's a little guy but still right in that opening like I was saying little guy maybe 15 inches I don't know maybe little or 14 but yeah, just... <laughs> See you, buddy. There we go. A little northern. Try to give him a nice little soft... He's a baby, baby. Calm down, buddy. Oh, you're a tough guy, though. When I see little guys like this, it's like, go stay safe out there, bud. Stay safe out there, little guy. Stay safe. It's pretty cool. When I lived in Florida a couple years, I'd talk to other fishermen there, and I'd be like, oh, I like your guys' fishing. This is fun. They're such different aquatic fish, and I did. I enjoyed it. I caught a lot of different fish. And then they would be like, well, yeah, but you got the big northerns. You got muskies, and then you got the good eating walleye. Like, a lot of them would be like, I've never had walleye. I'd love to try it. And then they would, then it would turn. They would be like, but man, how do you last those those times where the sun never sets. There was more than, dude, multiple people. I'd be like, oh, that's not us, that's Alaska. And they'd be like, I'm sure that's Minnesota. And I'd be like, dude, no. Like, so people thought we were Alaskan, bro. Like, legitly, and then they would be like, they thought we're like part of Canada. I'm not even kidding. I'd be like, no, we're not part of Canada, like, at all. We're just America, just way up north. Um, but yeah, it was pretty funny. Like they legitly, you know, and I caught a pickerel there and I thought it was a northern. I posted, I said, oh my, I caught a northern down here. I had no idea. And people were like, it's a pickerel, bro. And they're smaller version of northerns. But all right, buddy, go get big. Be careful out there. 
Stay safe, dude. Watch, I'm gonna catch a fish in five, four, three, two, <laughs> one, damn it. Dude, I was barely off, bro. He feels big. Stay on, buddy. Unless he's like side hooked. He felt big. <laughs> he felt bigger, but whatever. Oh man, if you would have hit like two seconds later. Oh, he's a darker northern for here. Oh yeah. And he's, he's a chubby. Now that's what you want to see. Smaller. Oh, and then he bites down again. I'm trying to get it out. He's a chubby or little? <laughs> he's a stubby guy. I love the stubby ones. See ya, buddy. Wow. Well, what a fun day. Oh my gosh. Catching a smallmouth in a lake that I've fished since 1995 that are not in here. Like I said, I Googled it. They're not in this lake. They're not in the lake that connects. So that was fun. That was like, dude, I was in shock, bro. Like I said, I, I fished here since 95. So this is Seth Leroy fishing. Like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification because then you're not notified if you want to. If you don't want to, it's all good. I just appreciate every view that I get. And I'm just doing this for fun and would love for it to be my job one day, but I guess we'll see. We'll see what happens. The channel is Family Hot Dish. And like I said over and over again, we live in the land of 10,000 lakes. So what are you doing? Go fishing.